Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Now since the PS5 release is around the corner and I cannot wait to do an open box video for you guys, I thought let's lift up the gaming spirit and create another game room tour video to give everyone some inspiration. So today we're taking a look at one of the craziest all-time console collectors I've ever met, who has over 75 different types of consoles followed by an epic room full of memories. But if you have a home theater or a game room you'd like to feature, make sure you send me an email which is in the description box and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future videos. Also, if you'd like to support the channel in any way, check out my new merch store and if you want to be that next level Hey Studio 3.0 fan, make sure you become a Patreon which I'll provide both links down below. Without further ado, let's check out Gaming Room Tours episode number two. So this room belongs to Dave from Ohio, United States. Dave's a market manager who's also married and has four kids. And when it comes to gaming, he knows how to make memories and most of all, keep those memories for a very long time. Becoming a gamer sparked at the very first time he played Atari at his grandparents' house many years ago. And one of his fondest memories will always be is when him and his brother got their first Nintendo console that their mother surprised them with. Now the game Rampage was the spark of something real special for him and his family which got him hooked and kept every console he had ever bought throughout these years and that's why today he owns this insane collection of 78 consoles with 2500 games and most of all lifelong priceless memories. Over time his room layout changed due to the growing collection and space and he's finally happy with how it looks. Not sure where to begin with this room, but let's start at the front. Dave's using the 65 inch Samsung curved TV, which is mounted on a wall mount with some Hue RGB lighting behind it. Moving down, we have the Nakamichi Shockwave Pro 7.1 channel 400 watt 45 inch soundbar with the 8 inch wireless subwoofer and re speakers next to his seating. On the wall, he's managed to hang some awesome Xbox and PlayStation controllers with the PlayStation 3D TV in the middle, which is pretty sick. Of course, we can't miss the look of Kinect 2.0, which is next to the Nintendo Switch, followed by the PlayStation 4 Pro 500 million edition and Gears of War 5 limited edition Xbox One X. Inside the white TV cabinet, he's hooked up the 4K NVIDIA Shield TV and direct 4K Genie DVR that's paired with the Arlo router for his home security. Some games that's on display as well as some 4K movies. In the drawers underneath are full of Xbox One X games, some even still in sealed boxes and finishing it off with a touch of RGB puck lights behind the cabinet to match his theme. Moving across the room on the second white cabinet, we have some pretty epic items such as the Super Mario Brothers 1, 2 and 3 posters in frames with their individual games on it. Oh boy, let's just say I spent a good portion of my life on these games and sometimes I still do. In front of them are these dope looking Super Mario Brothers 1 and 3 and Super Mario World Pixel Power Lights. Next to them, of course, the Energizer Xbox One and PlayStation 4 controller chargers. And last but not least, on the side, Dave uses the JBL Link View controlling the room and lights through the Google Assistant, which I'm a big fan of. And if you're an Overwatch gamer, you'd know that the Square Cool gadget is a loot box. Before we jump into his epic console collection, let's take a look at his gaming PC setup. Not going to go through the full specs, but I've listed everything in the description box for you guys. But this one impressive setup includes this dope Batman CPU case that features 8GB graphic card that's paired with the beastie Ryzen 7 CPU. I'm loving how clean, simple, but yet powerful this setup is. To the right is the Elgato Stream Mini Deck. Next to it, we have the Razer speakers and other awesome tech, such as the Rogue Strix wireless headset that's sitting next to the Game Over Lightbox and the SteelSeries Silverhand Edition Xbox One headset. Of 
course with a setup like this, when you're gaming, you need to be comfortable, which is why he has this epic killer bee tall massage gaming chair. And let me tell you guys, there is nothing better than playing PC games on a nice big widescreen like this 144 hertz 49 inch Samsung QLED gaming monitor. And above that are three different Jimny light up Batman pictures. And above that there is collector's edition Sonic statue with Sega console in one with some Funko Pop collectibles next to it. All right, so let's move on to the stars of the show. I'm kicking it off with the Sega collection and starting right at the top is the Sega Master System. Underneath that is the Model 2 and Sega Nomad. Then we have the Genesis Model 1 with blue game key. On the fourth shelf are the Sega 32X Genesis Model 2 and CDX. Big bulky console is the Sega Saturn with a black game gear next to it. And in the last shelf are the Genesis Model 3 and Sega Dreamcast. Damn, that's one heck of a Sega console collection. Moving on to, let's take a look in the Xbox cabinet. Top shelf, we have the original Xbox Halo Green, Xbox 360 Halo 4 Edition. Moving down is the 360 Gears of War Edition. Xbox One Halo 5 Edition. Then we have the Xbox One S in white as well as One S Gears of War Edition and Xbox One X Scorpion Edition. Of course, next is going to be the PlayStation Collection and starting off with the original PS1 that's next to the PSP 1000. Then we have the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 Slim with blue PS Vita followed by the PS2 Fat with the PSP Go and PS2 Fat Japanese version in white, also in crystal blue and a Japanese version PS3 in white. A PS3 Fat in black, a PS4 Pro Spider-Man Edition, a Japanese PS6 in white, and last but not least, a PlayStation VR that's on the bottom shelf. Inside a small white cabinet, he also has the Neo Geo AES, Neo Geo Pocket, Turbo Graphics 16 and Gold Star 3DO consoles. Let's take a closer look at his Nintendo collection and right at the top is the all time one and only Nintendo Entertainment System also known as NES with a Game Boy. Then we have the Super NES with Game Boy Color followed by my favorite console that I'll never forget the Nintendo 64 with Game Boy Pocket next to it. We have the GameCube with the Game Boy Advance Nintendo Wii in black with a Game Boy SP beside it, a Wii Mini, a Wii U, and last on the bottom shelf is the Virtual Boy. In the small cabinet are also the Nintendo DS Lite, new Nintendo 3DS XL Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Edition, and a Super Smash Bros. Limited Edition, new Nintendo 2DS XL Hillion Shield Edition, Nintendo Famicom and a Nintendo Super Famicom. I bet you guys are so confused by now, but the good news is that's it. That's all the consoles, but let's be real guys. Have you ever seen anything like this before? I know I haven't, which is why I find this room epic. Around the room, there are a couple of black cabinets displaying his massive collection of Marvel, DC and classic statues of some of the best cartoon characters around. He's also a massive Funko Pop fan and has a growing collection of Pixel Pal characters. Between the two statue display shelves, he's got a CD cabinet for his games and whatever he doesn't use is tucked away nicely in a storage wardrobe, which is also full as you guys can see. In fact, Dave is in the process of continuing his collection in another room, so stay tuned for future update pictures on my community posts. But as you guys can see, his wardrobe is organized with all the original boxes of games and consoles, cables, etc. He also plans to install shelves dedicated to each console's games and an area where he can do his filming for his epic collection. If any of you guys are interested to follow him, make sure you check out his YouTube channel, which I will list in the description box for you guys. Around the room, he's mounted some awesome wall lights as well as some paintings of his favorite games and characters including these pixel arts in frames. 
and to finish things off he's got the best seat in the room no better way to game than with this famous seat craft theater seat and a lasco towel fan keeping him and the room cool just like his collection I think overall Dave's collection is one of a kind. He's done an amazing job designing and fitting in so many different consoles in a small space. It takes a lot of passion not to sell or trade items like some of us do. His motivation of keeping his memories as well as creating new ones with his kids is mind blowing. He's a true classic and modern game collector. And if any of you guys have any questions for Dave, make sure you drop a comment and show some love. Well, there you have it guys. Let me know what you think of Dave's insane game room. If you have any questions, make sure you comment in the section below. I'll try to list some of these items in the description box for you guys to purchase. If you own a game or home theater room you'd like to feature, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook or even an email. Stay safe and don't forget to subscribe. You can catch me on my Discord channel where you can ask me or fellow enthusiasts about anything you need help with. So if you're interested, make sure you download it, which I will provide the link in the description box also. I'm Sarkis and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.